In our last video, I visited the Oron people, a unique ethnic group that resides in the southern part of Nigeria. Oron is a very big community, okay. comprising of about five local governments. Today, I will be showing you one of the most important soups eaten by these wonderful people. At the end of this video, we are going to know why this soup is so important and how to prepare it like the Oron people do. But first, most of Nigerian soups are prepared with one form of soup thickener or the other. The function of this soup thickener is to help thicken the soup and also bring every other ingredient together. Most of these soup thickeners have a lot of health benefits that they introduce into the soup, thereby increasing the nutritional value of such soups. I was fortunate to eat one of these soups when I visited the Oron Nation and they prepared a soup called Efere Ibaba. Today I'm going to show you how they prepare this soup and you'll learn more about this soup. Welcome to Epic Food Review. Let's go. The uniqueness of Nigerian food comes from the ways and methods used by different tribes and ethnic groups to cook one particular food. This is very evident in the Efere Ibaba, which is a soup that is not only eaten by the Oron people, but also eaten by the Igbo ethnic group of southeastern Nigeria, where it is regarded as a very important delicacy. During my visit to the Oron people, I discovered that this soup is also an important part of their diet, but they have a very unique way of preparing it, which you will see later in this video. Oh, you mean, Ovodi? My son, you are welcome. Okay, he means my son, you are welcome. Yes, yeah, so you mean. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, ma. For those of you who don't know, Oron is a coastal town that is located in the southeastern part of Apaibom State. It is one of the oldest local government areas in Akwaibom State and is home to the Oro people, an indigenous ethnic group that shares a lot of cultural identity with the ethnic people of Cross River State. If you missed my video on the history and lifestyle of the Oro people, I will drop a link to that video in the description. Where most people, the children nowadays, they don't really know about this soup that much and um, they don't really know how to get the Ibaba for the soup. Okay, that means the, uh, the baba is scarce now, it's not that rampant everywhere. Yes. In Oron language, Efere means soup, while Ibaba is the local name for the horse eye beans, which is the key ingredient used in preparing the soup. Guys, this is a baba, that's what they call it. But now, I've eaten this before in Enugu State. Enugu State people call it Okobo, and some part of Igbo land call this Okbo or Okbotoro. But it's, here they call it a baba. Okay, this one, has, they have already removed the shell of this one. It's normally shelled like black with black, thick black shell. So they, I think they've removed the shell of this one. And it's going to be used to prepare the Ibaba soup that they want to do. This soup is a very ancient soup with a history that predates the current generation and a lot of people are starting to forget its existence, maybe because of the difficulty in its preparation. Happy Baba, on a frame make get Okay, so she said um, this Ibaba soup mm. is a soup that our mom always made for her when she was young and small. It's like an ancient soup. Mm. The delicious taste of the Efere Ibaba is not the only reason people eat it. I was told it also possesses some health benefits and can serve as a medicine. The soup has a calming effect to the stomach. Okay, that if you are having stomach issues, you can yes, calm your stomach. Like soothing ah, effect. Mm. Okay. And then you bring me go give the You have them heat. Like you want to treat heat, like internal heat. Mm. You take the soup because you see, according to her, the ibaba, eh, it's kind of like you say cold. And okay, it helps to calm the heat. If you have heat, yes, yeah, okay. yes, to calm you down. Okay. Like. Some people have this internal heat that whenever, no matter the temperature of the environment, they feel hot inside. Yes. Okay, so it helps to. Oh, heat. that's wonderful. The importance of this soup to the Oron people is shown in the way they use it. I was told that it was the basic food served during marriage ceremonies in the olden days. This ancient cultural importance has been passed down through generations and the relevance of Efere Baba to the Oron people is still maintained till date. 
during the cooking, eh, we we'll put a um, bitter leaf. So the bitter, bitter leaf that's added to the soup now, eh, we have, um, let me say, like, um, you're having, uh, uh, you're telling me explaining you, eh, to go and calm down. Then for people that have um, diabetes, the soup is good for them also. Because okay, of the bitter leaf. Of bitter leaf. Okay, yes. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, I would like to, I like, I would like to eat it. I like medicinal soup, so I will enjoy this one very well. Yes. To make this soup, you will need the ibaba seeds, periwinkle, dry fish, bomo or cow skin, bitter leaf, meat of your choice, crayfish, pepper, onions, salt, and palm oil. Start by the shelling and boiling the ibaba seeds for at least 30 minutes. When the seeds are a little soft, Put the seed into your mortar and pound till smooth. When it has become smooth, add some palm oil and mix it very well, then set aside. Now wash your periwinkle very well. You need to wash the periwinkle multiple times to remove every bit of sand in them. After washing the periwinkle, put them into your cooking pot. Also wash and cut your proteins and put them into your cooking pot. Now season with pepper, onions and salt. Add some water and bring to a boil. When the meat is almost cooked through, add some palm oil and some pounded crayfish. Now mix the pounded ibaba with some of the meat stock and stir continuously till it forms a puree. Now add the puree into the pot. Also add your washed bitter leaves into the pot. Stir very well and cover to cook for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, your FRA Baba is ready. Alright guys, so here we have the FRA Baba. FRA Baba. FRA Baba. FRA Baba. Okay. Wow, it's looking very, very fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is delicious. This this soup gives you the feeling of home. In terms of consistency, it's a little bit thick. Afram, you baba at yet ever. Nayana, a brook cake is very young. Honest, this every baba is very super. It's very thick so that. When you are warming it the next day, you need to add more water to it, like not that much. Okay, you every morning you add more water, right? Yes, and that and our great grandparents they love preparing it because it it lasts longer in the house. Okay, every, every me I would like it. <laughs> okay, so uh, they say that this soup is thick naturally, so and it keeps getting thicker. Just like when I went to Enugu, I, I, I shot a video of this soup where they called it Ofeo Kobo. It's this same soup. But now, there's a little bit of twist here. Because back there, they did not use this to cook it. It's periwinkle. They didn't add periwinkle. And this is the periwinkle with the shell. Now, I have to taste this periwinkle and know if it's going to go well with this soup. Okay. The periwinkle also brings its own flavor into the soup when you suck it. Even though I would have preferred they use the shelled one, but it seems the, the difference in taste when it still has the shell in it and where it is the shelled. Okay, when you remove the shell, I think the, the taste changes because this one is more the, the flavor is more dense. Also, the taste of this soup is superb. It's creamy. This ibaba gives the soup a creamy texture in the mouth when you want to swallow it is very very creamy also it has a little bit of sweet taste the the ibaba itself has this kind of a little bit of sweet taste to it a sweet naughty taste now when this sweet naughty taste now mix together or come together with the bitterness a little bit of bitterness from this bitter leaf used as the vegetable here the mixture it's explosive, wonderful, okay? Because the bitterness in the bitter leaf now balances out that little sweetness you get from the baba. This soup is absolutely wonderful. I love it. All right, guys. So here you have it: the Afere Ibaba, 
a very special soup, also a kind of forgotten soup that is eaten here in Oron Nation. If you love this video, like, share and subscribe. And always remember, eat to live while I live to eat. I am Mr. Epic and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> I know